Welcome to this 70,000 subscriber special episode of OS First Timer. In this episode, Dyna is going to be upgrading from Windows XP to Windows 10, one OS at a time, while also playing a bunch of bundled in games from each OS. This video was suggested by Patreon supporter MightyEagle73, so be sure to go check out his channel as well as all the other channels of all the other Patreon supporters. Anyway, it's time to start the upgrade. Okay, so here you are. This should be a familiar site to you. What OS are you on? XP. XP. This is very, very familiar. So what you're going to be doing is you're currently at an office and they've said, Diana, um, it's currently 2017 now. Uh, we're using XP. It lost support. And even Vista, the operating system after this, has lost support. Are you... I'd actually be worried about working at an office that still <laughs> uses XP in 2017. So. And they've basically said, we don't know. The reason we're still on XP is because we actually don't know how to update so oh, I'd be more <laughs> worried <laughs> so can you update them from Windows XP to Windows 10 sure I'll bring my son so first of I'll, all I'll say to them I'll just ring Philip and we'll be on our way so first of all your boss has just said oh by the way can you just show us your pinball skills before you update because we heard that after XP they got rid of the pinball so show us your pinball skills for a sec there's a lot to worry about <laughs> in this workplace, I can tell you. My boss asking me to see my pinball skills. Yeah, well, Okay, go on. okay, well, where's the pinball? I'm assuming it's probably yeah. in games now, or something. This is not a fresh install of Windows XP. This actually um, does have a few extra things. It's got like right. Monopoly on it and stuff. Wait a sec. Okay, now, so we'll go into all programs. So do not, games. it's not a clean install. Yep, those are the default ones that come with it. Pinball, ah, come on, game. Your boss has like, a, he's, he's really, Pinball. he loves Simurth, so that's why he's got Simurth on it as well. <laughs> this is a very unusual boss. And they play Monopoly at midnight together, all the workers, and they sleep, have a sleepover at the office. <laughs> 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 and they play Pinball and they what start What kind of an office is this? <laughs> a very I don't one. think I want to be part okay, of it. Okay, now put um, that up. Okay, Pinball. Yep. These are the flippers. Wait, let me see. So Not there's the flippers, yep. yep. And this will launch it. So just see how you go. Oh, you just launched yeah, it. Yeah, for you. So you've got to try and go. Just see how long you can last. Let's see if you can last one minute. Oh. It's okay. By the way, this actual, for your information, this pinball has missions and stuff that you do when you have to try and launch the ramp. So you've just selected the launch ramp mission, so you've got to launch the ramp to start that mission. It's stuff like that and some oh. thing, but don't worry about that. But if you, can get up, if you can get up that purple ramp, basically, you could do the mission. But I think you've shown off your pinball skills. You've got skills. Until just then. So there we go. Well, I was just, you told me to, I've shown my skills, so I just <laughs> let it go there. So. Nice save. So basically, now it's time to update to a newer version of Windows. What came after XP? What was kind of the next step up? What can you update I'm to? i trying to think. Didn't go Windows 7, did it? No, there's something else in between Windows 7 and XP. So it went from Windows 7 to Windows 8. But then to Windows 10 because 7, 8, 9. Now, what is, what is between XP and 7? Vista. That's right. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Does it work on Vista? It's working on every operating system. Don't forget to steal a packet of chips. Remember that? We did yeah, that on that's Vista. Right. We did. <laughs> and we the did. Vista voice recognition. Yeah, yeah. Uh, illegal and illegal general yep, yep. assignment. Okay. So basically, you're going to put a Windows Vista disk in now. Um, this is going to be virtualized. Okay. You've just put a Windows Vista disk in. And this is what's So I'm up. assuming that you can't go straight from XP to Windows 10. Not in one step. You, you could, should be able to. You could actually completely wipe the computer, then install Windows 10. Well, why don't we just do that? That sounds no, a lot easier. No, because then the boss, they, they want to keep their monopoly that they play at midnight. They want to keep Sim Earth and so they want to keep that stuff. Oh, that even is Even though it so won't even weird. be compatible when you update to Windows 10, it'll actually lose okay. its compatibility. So, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to assume that it's compatible, so yep. let's install now. And if it's not compatible, bad luck, you'll just have to wipe it all and go into Windows 10 straight up and forget about the Monopoly at midnight. <laughs> I wonder if there actually is an office out there that has its co-workers playing I Monopoly at midnight. <laughs> I seriously doubt it. And I wouldn't be part of it, I can okay. tell you. So it's currently saying, please wait, does this feel vistery to you already? This, this it just feels strange. computery to me. <laughs> okay. It's always please wait. And especially with the Australian internet, it's always wait, wait, wait 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 
And wait again. Mainly when you're uploading. Download's not so bad. Okay, so get important updates for your installation. Go online and get the updates, which is what they recommend, or they don't recommend. Do not get the latest updates for installation. That's just weird. You can't move that. That's a fake window. It's not actually a real window. See, it's a Windows Vista window, <laughs> but it's fake. I don't know whether I trust this. What? This. Why not? I don't trust it. I just don't trust it. No, it's, it's, I pro, okay, just so you know, I promise this is not a parody. This is the real Windows XP. You are really upgrading to Windows okay. Vista. This is what the installer really I just really don't says. trust anything anymore. <laughs> I don't even, intr tr I don't even trust the installer. Okay, well, just for the sake of this okay. not taking too long, maybe just don't get the updates. See the one with the red X that it says do yeah. not recommend it? Do that. So do that. Yeah, no, don't. Say so you want to, you don't want to help make the Windows installation better. This one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's already done. Okay. Um, so just keep it on that, yeah, that first one, x86. Okay, yeah. so it's basically now a very next, next process. So you've got Windows Vista Ultimate, um, just keep I'm assuming it you wouldn't need all the updates anyway, because you could then gonna update it to 7, then 10 anyway. Exactly. So what do you need? Now that's for someone who's just, not many people go, I'm gonna update to Vista, then 7, then 8, then 10. They're just like, I'm just gonna go one step forward, you know, not... Well, that's what I said, I wanna go one step forward. No, but that would involve I know, the, the mini Monopoly at night. <laughs> okay. It won't even be compatible with Windows 10 anyway, so, um, click next. Yeah, unfortunately. There should be a game while you're waiting, actually. <laughs> they actually do that. Just to entertain you, there should be a it's little game to It's funny because, like, I, I've seen in the past some Flash games. You know how kids online just free Flash yeah. games and stuff? Um, well, basically, um, kids will go online, go to play a free Flash game, and then while they're waiting for the Flash game to load, another mini game will be there while they wait for it to load. So there'll be, a lo like, a loading game. So do you okay. accept all that? Yep, I accept every single bit of it, even though I don't know... Just look how long it is, just drag I that know, thing. I know, I know. Just drag it and see how They're long always it is. Really Who can read all that? Well, I just read it and I accept it. There we go. Um, and you're going to do an upgrade or a custom. Are you going to wipe everything or are you going to upgrade? That's upgrade. right, you're going to upgrade. Do you like that it gives you the option, do you want to wipe or do you want to upgrade? Well, if I was going to wipe, I'd just go straight to Windows 10 anyway. <laughs> so, really. <laughs> Yeah, but think this installer was made before. I know, all I know, before all. Yeah. yeah, this was. Yeah, this I is understand. just like literally you've gotten a 2006 CD and you've stuck it into XP. But it said modified 2009. So how can the CD be modified ah, okay, 2009 okay, no, 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 if it's okay, a 2006? Okay, no, 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 let's, no, let's, that was an accident <laughs> that I just said. So basically, this actually isn't the original Windows Vista. This is with the service pack, so they've just made it a bit safer. Okay. So, you know, gotten rid of, you know, a little So it's a 2009 stuff. disc. It's a 2009 version of Vista. Windows 7 actually came out 2010, so this is actually kind of almost like Vista just before. Okay. Uh, why am I saying it? Windows 7 came out 2009. Okay. There we go. So I just, that went in my head weirdly okay so right now it's checking compatibility basically it's saying it's saying there's potential issues with things and um, these issues do not prevent you to upgrade well let's upgrade then okay so what it was saying is it's saying maybe sim earth might not work on vista or maybe the monopoly oh, of what midnight a shame. Won't work. <laughs> what so a some shame. of those things might not and if you clicked it it would show you these are the programs that won't work if you update are you sure you want to still update i still want to update okay so right now it is copying windows files mm -hmm. and then it'll gather them, expand them, install features and updates, and complete the upgrade. Um, your installation may take several hours to complete. You can now go get a coffee. It says several hours. They assume you've got like a ridiculously slow computer. Generally, it would take about half an hour, 40 minutes. So you can okay, go... so this is based on the computer speed then. It's based not on the internet. computer speed. Um, also, the fact that this is not actually even a real CD you're reading off. This is actually an ISO file that's already on the computer, which boosts the speeds even more. Oh, so, right. yeah, you can go now. And okay. when, it, when it's done, yeah. Okay, so this bit actually took quite a bit of time. Um, it went through copying Windows files, gathering files, expanding files. Then it needed to restart, and once it restarted, it made these error sounds, like beeping sounds. I don't know why it made those sounds, but anyway, um, it just kept going. It said upgrading Windows, expanding files, and once it finished expanding files, installing um, all those features, then it restarted again. Like, it just never stops restarting. Um, I even cut out some of the restarts here because it just restarted several times. It restarted again there. Um, and then finally, we were back. 
Okay, so now after like about five reboots or something, um, here you are. Help protect Windows automatically. Use recommended settings in a big green thing. Install important updates only or ask me later. And I'd recommend ask me later because you don't want to now sit around waiting for updates. Yeah, no, that I don't aren't feel necessary. Like it. Because we're going to upgrade again to Windows 7. Okay, is this so. the right time zone? Canberra, Melbourne, Sydney? Yep. Okay, fantastic. Well, it's not really. It was said 10.52. <laughs> well, they got it wrong. <laughs> anyway. Well, it doesn't really matter. But surely they'll get the right time zone in the next update. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, <laughs> so home, work, or public location um, for... It, home. It, it, is this, yeah, this network. Yeah, it's a home network. Thank you. But remember, you're supposed to be in office. upgrade it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I'm just thinking because I'm home. Yeah, exactly. So, so it says thank you. There you go. Oh, well, it doesn't. Who cares if what it thinks where I am? <laughs> okay, so start. And now your office people have just come back in. They've walked into the room and they said, Oh, Diana, what have you just done? What's happened? What's this? I'm just upgrading it to Win Vista 7. Vista. <laughs> Vista 7. <laughs> say Can we just make sure, because we just, we're, we're just a little bit worried about the Monopoly. Can you just open the Monopoly and just make sure it still works on Vista? Because it's made in 1997, this version of Monopoly, mm -hmm. and it's, it's a really good one. Please wait while Windows checks your computer's performance. Well, technically, they're going to be very impressed with your computer's performance. Oh, this is great for the office workers. <laughs> Getting it done, remember. Um, no, but this is a virtual machine that has been given limited resources. Oh, so it's not okay. using it as okay. it So wasn't. it doesn't really know. It, it thinks it's an XP's machine. It thinks okay. it's like an XP machine right okay. now. Okay. So right now you're on a black screen and you have got the Windows Vista mouse. Slightly different. It's got like a little shorter um, tail to the um, XP mouse, as you can see. I really, that's something I really would not notice. Well, I noticed it. I've always noticed that. The it, shorter it, tail. Well, the Windows XP one, it, it's a bit too long, see? I've never noticed that, okay. and I'm not really concerned about that. In other words, mouse tail size doesn't matter. Come on, hurry up. This is frustrating. And it, <sighs> what was something to mention is, at the time, Windows Vista was actually considered quite bloated and was quite slow on computers in the XP era. So when we upgrade from Vista to 7, it'll be a lot faster? Well, technically. Windows 7 was more optimised, but... And 7 to 10 will be even faster. No, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this computer some better resources, mm -hmm. you see, because right now it has not been given good resources. Do you like the little Vista logo? Which I do, pretty... actually. Yep. Okay, so here we we're go. on Welcome Vista. Welcome preparing your desktop. <laughs> There's a lot of preparations to do, isn't there? Mm. I just can't understand why, if, if the office people are so concerned about the Monopoly and all those other, uh, why couldn't we have people. just upgraded to Windows 10 straight up and just installed the Monopoly and this and that that they No, want. but they don't know where to buy it. You see, they actually, they actually obtained... Um, well, an, can't you <laughs> download it from the... Shutting down, locking off. What? <laughs> because it obviously needs to do one more reboot. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm saying is can't you download it from the XP before you upgrade and then maybe put it on a disk or put it on something then upload it to the Windows 10 once it's finished can't you do that they don't have the original installer they've only got the like well can't you go into the it element all, thing copy always, all the no. copy all <laughs> the <laughs> text of it and then put it onto the, and run on the new one generally when you're going to install something it's not usually as simple as just simply going oh that's where it's installed to I just copy that and paste it there I mean it, the software piracy would be very easy if it was that oh, case oh of course piracy I forgot about you see? Yeah. So they have all these registry checks and other things they do when you install software. It's not, I mean, some of some software might be simply just copying files onto your computer and that's it, mm -hmm. but other ones do lot, like lots of Because it's obviously stuff. a program, and if, if you just copy the full program and then put it in the program and section. registry of the... settings and stuff you'd need as well, but it's just, it's not the, usually programs come with an installer and you have to use that installer to get it efficiently all sorted. Okay. Okay, so after like the seventh reboot now, and 50 minutes, we finally welcome you to the Windows Vista Ultimate Desktop. But then we're going to say goodbye and welcome to the Windows 7 Desktop. Yeah, at least you know your order. <laughs> Look at what it's done. What's it done? Found uh, new hardware. Okay, let's just 
you just finish those things off. It's looked at your computer and it's thought, hmm, this is not a very good computer, because I didn't give it fantastic settings and stuff because it was just XP. Hmm, this is not a fantastic computer. We'd go, I think we'd better just apply the basic, you know, theme. The, like, you oh, classic it's done theme, it itself. Rather than the, um, you know, thing. But there we go. Yep. You're on Windows Vista and it's saying welcome. This is like your welcome screen. You can mm -hmm. see what's new in Vista. Um, <laughs> look at the sidebar. It's got the classic sidebar with no transparency. Oh, that doesn't looks matter. awful. That doesn't matter. We're anyway. getting out of it anyway. Oh, it's got the time right, though. <laughs> That's actually funny because when it asked before about the time zone, it was like 10 yeah. in the morning or um, something. Unfortunately, one last thing. What? It just wants to do one last reboot. Oh, no, <laughs> I, know. I know, just because VMware Tools is just like, um, you know, ask me later. And this is home. Okay, there we go. It's just, this is the last one, okay? There we go. Now it's getting back in. What we're going to do is we're going to just try and apply the proper thing because you can't have Vista without the proper uh, not screensaver. Oh wait, the, the thing. <laughs> theme and Windows Vista apply. Mm -hmm. Do you think that, but no, it's saying please wait. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. That's not the proper Vista theme, but it's better than what it was before. That's just the um, Vista basic theme. Anyway, here we go. Your boss has just said, okay, fantastic. This is looking good. Um, AVG doesn't recognize the license number because it was all XP and you've just updated and it's like, all right. So we just don't worry about that. <laughs> AVG got a little bit worried there. Um, so now, what are you going to do? The boss has said, can you just make sure the Monopoly works? We're just, we're just okay. a little bit worried. Well, we'll go work? into the programs. Now notice, instead of popping out in Vista, it just has it in here. I prefer it popping out. Okay, so um, I, I think it was, yes, yeah, scroll Games. down. Games. C, no, not Max. No, no, it wasn't in there. It was a special, um. But it was in there. No, well, no, that was the main thing. Um, this was, this is something else. It's, ah, postpone. So Monopoly CD-ROM. So, see if it works. I have to go into it. Oh, please. Oh, they lost it. <laughs> okay. Well, so no, they lost it. Like, the, the CD's gone. Okay, well, this was useless then because I could have just upgraded to Windows 10 in one step <laughs> and said, well, we can't do the Monopoly. <laughs> well, anyway, it's too late for that. They've got other settings, don't worry. There's other things like um, Sim Earth and stuff. So um, the boss has just said, while I watch all the co-workers, I like to have Sim Earth in the background, so I just want to ensure that that works. <laughs> Just a strange boss. Um, the boss said, just make sure, oh look, it's, it's, it's coming up, I like this. At least I've got Sim Earth, because I don't like, I find it a bit boring in the office, looking at all the co-workers. Well, he's supposed boring. to be getting on with his own work, <laughs> not so, just watching the co-workers. So, I'm, I'm glad that um, Sim Earth works, it doesn't seem to be loading though, so I'll just get out of it. I crashed. Well, so it might work. Anyway, so you, just while we're here, your boss has gotten a little bit upset. Show him that Windows Vista has a game called Inkball, and that might satisfy him. So find, it would be in the, you know, with all the other pre-installed games. Yeah. Okay, so this is a game that comes with Windows Vista, okay? So basically, the orange ball has got to get into the orange thing. What? You can draw stuff. Oh, I see. And it will bounce against it. No, you can't draw it directly, like, <laughs> come on. There we go, and see how it bounces against it, and once you've drawn it... Oh, oh you're bad. <laughs> so you've got to draw it before it gets... Look at where it's going. So you go, okay, so what's happening? No, don't try and push it like that. You look at where it's gone, then it bounces into that position. <laughs> if you can just beat this one level of ink ball, you've, you've won, okay? Yes! yes you did one! I did it. You did one, okay. So ink ball, the, that, that, last, that last orange ball. Oh, do two. I have to get that Yeah, you have well. to get both. It's, it's a basic physics game, it shouldn't be this hard. It gets harder later Well, I on. did it! It's okay. not hard, I did well, it. Well, there you go. So that was level one of Big Ball. It has quite a few balls. This time there's an orange ball and a blue ball. If the blue oh, ball you gotta get... gets into the orange thing, though, you're in trouble. So you don't want that blue ball getting into the orange one. Otherwise, it could be serious trouble. I did that. And that one looks like it's going to do itself. Oh, okay, well, there we go. Easy. Anyway, <laughs> we're not going to continue. Oh, and there's a time limit, too, so I'm glad. Oh. Well, let's just get out yeah. of it now. I've had enough okay. anyway. Okay, so there we go. That was Ink Ball. Right. Now, your boss has said, okay, so Windows Vista has obviously um, lost some support, and he's a little bit Well, upset. they can play Ink Ball at midnight. 
so <laughs> there we go. Um, and he says, oh, by the way, um, just with the gadgets at the side, can you just add a calendar gadget on there for me, just because I like to know what day it is, and I don't like to have to click on the clock, I just like a calendar oh. gadget. So can you just add that to the um, bar? Well, I'm going to rightly click add gadget. Oh, oh that, that came naturally. <laughs> add gadget. Now, which one? And he says, calendar. I just want a calendar there. So double click. There you go, you got, got a it. calendar there. Okay, fantastic. Oh, and that was really intuitive because I just naturally went to it, knew in my head that I'm supposed to right click it, and there we go. Yeah. And he said, good. by the way, Diana, can you have the calendar opened up? I don't like closed calendars like that. Can you open it for me? Oh, lazy boss. There we go, it's open. Uh, no, but I like to see the front of the calendar too, as well as that part. I want to see two at once. We'll add another gadget, no. add another calendar. Yeah, there we go. So there's the front <laughs> and like there's the opened up. He said, he said, by the way, I like that picture puzzle, so I want that too. And is there any way um, you can put that picture puzzle instead of in the sidebar on the desktop? Detach from sidebar, yeah. And I, I like it uh, around the middle of the desktop. There we go. So, so it's pretty easy to use. Um, there we go. And Diana, can you just show me how picture puzzle works? Because I don't know how you actually do them. Well, then why do you want it? <laughs> Weirdest part ever. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> no, you don't have to complete it, but that just shows you it's a picture puzzle and no, you just click on a piece. You click on a piece and whatever piece you click on will go into the blank space. Oh really? So that, see? So that's how it works. You click on a piece and it'll just drag. It'll make that piece you click on the blank space. But you get it? Okay. Anyway, that's it. Don't do that. It's like a bit of a bird or penguin or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You could try and finish that, but they're ridiculously not in, hard. Not in the mood. Uh, they're harder than normal puzzles anyway. Anyway, we are now ready to upgrade to when you've had your fun with Vista. Mm -hmm. It's now time for Windows 7. So boss has just um he stole uh, from the other office that had windows 7 there so we just stole the disc and he's just putting it in your computer now okay okay so so it's basically it's detected a disc is in what do you want to do do you want to run the setup or do you just want to open it and view the file view i want to the content run it. it allow or cancel well allow um he, he stole the wrong version um he'll have to go tomorrow and steal a new version of windows 7 that's 32 because it, it doesn't quite match up so your boss, you can meet up with your boss again tomorrow. Okay. Once he's stolen the correct version from the other office. Great boss. What's this? Windows Vista just detected that something m might have gone wrong with what you're just trying to install. So it's saying, do you want to try and reinstall it again, or do you want to just say it worked okay? It worked okay. Okay. <laughs> there we go. You'll come back tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Here we are back. Your boss is now. Um, a day has passed. Okay. <laughs> And basically, your your boss has just done a few things since last time. He's basically he's gone to the um, competitor's office next door. He's just stolen some of their... He opened up one of their computers, stole some of their components, put it in this. So this computer's a bit better and a bit, you know, more up-to-date, ready for Vista. Um, and he also stole a different copy of Windows 7 from that office to use here. Oh, that's so nice. So it'll be the appropriate one for this computer now. So can you now go to the CD drive and try and find... CD drive. Where you know how you know you've got removable drives, like when you, uh, you know how you like got a USB in control. Your computer? It wouldn't be in the control panel, would it? No. It wouldn't really be in there. You know when you've got your computer and you can see all the drives, like um that window, like in a file kind of. Explorer? Yeah, I know. Where where is that? All the drives. I mean, um. I'll give you a clue. See that black strip that has administrator at the top and help and support at the bottom? Yeah, it's, it's somewhere It's one there. of those. In fact, it's a few of those. You can access it multiple ways. There, there is a optimum way to access it, but there's multiple ways you can get to that, and that wasn't one of them. Good. <laughs> so I was just checking. Um, so one, two, three, Connect four, to four, recent four. items. No. Wouldn't be that. Wouldn't be that. Wouldn't be that. Could be computer. I'm going to try that. And where is the DVD? There. Yep, you did it. Okay. How did you know that was a DVD? By the well, way? it said DVD. Um, it needs your permission. Yeah, okay or cancel. That was a big Vista thing. The whole screen goes black for a moment and yeah. There you go. Install now. And you are on your way to updating to Windows 7. Do you like um, the kind of little setup appearance? Like this is kind of looking at the default Windows 7 desktop. It's trying to get you excited <laughs> for what's to come. <laughs> exactly. Windows 7 was the last one where they had that kind of... You can't even do AeroGlass on this, unfortunately. Just because you've updated from... For some reason, this update... I can install... If a clean install on Vista on VMware will give you that glass look, but not on this, unfortunately. Anyway... Look, I'm not going to get the no. latest because of the fact... Do you I'm, notice... What do you notice I about the installer? All that. Does it seem very much like the um, Vista installer, doesn't it? Okay, upgrade is fine. 
See, they, they kept the install, so it's kind of like the same thing. Um, XP actually was a bit different to install. Their installer, like previous installers, were different. Um, so language packs won't be available, and you'll miss out on the Windows Vista Ultimate Extras. That's okay. And there you go. This may take several hours. You can go now. Luckily, it did not take several hours for this first bit to complete, but it was a lot shorter than the uh, Vista installation. It's actually very similar to the installation of Vista if you actually look here. I mean, look, expanding files, all the, you know, same things as before. Um, and there were actually fewer reboots. I mean, it just kept going. Look at this. It got all this far and not a single one. Just as I say, no reboots, then it does another reboot now. Um, but, yeah, it was a lot, lot better than the whole Windows Vista thing. This took about half an hour in the end to go from uh, Vista to Windows 7, but the Vista actually took 50 minutes to go from XP to Vista, so that was, you know, kind of annoying. But yeah, there were quite a few restarts and stuff at the end here, but nowhere near as much. <laughs> I'm just saying nowhere near, and you just keep seeing restart, 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 but no more, nowhere near as much as Vista did. Okay, so here you are. It's saying type your Windows product key. The boss just says... He forgot what it is, so you can just click skip on that one. Really? Yeah, he forgot. Okay, so skip. So So you can actually skip things. So things that require product keys, if you don't have the product key, you just skip no, it and you get it you anyway. Skip it for thirty days. Who's Oh So thirty days later it'll say, Okay, time's up, buddy. And so what's what's my boss gonna do when the time's up? Oh, it'll just technically if you really wanna know what it does, it just it le it, it doesn't let you have a desktop background. It'll just make your desktop background black and oh, every But then you can just make your own desktop black background and just put something nice on. No no no. No, 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 but as soon as you do that, it'll change every 30 minutes. It makes it black again. And at the bottom well, of the taskbar... Well, then just change it back to something you like again. And at the again. bottom of the taskbar, it says this version of Windows is not activated. Well, delete that. Go into <laughs> the... Go into the... Oh, um, my gosh. What do you call it? The um, the inspect element thing and delete that little line that comes That's up. That's web so browsers. Oh, <laughs> so it's not for this. No. Well, anyway. can't you go into the original program of Let's the Windows just, 7 or... Yeah, well, that's called hacking and cracking, and we're not hacking and cracking. We're just but you can. You can, but you shouldn't. Okay, now continuing on. But if that annoying message always comes on, why shouldn't you? Because... To get rid of it. Because that's software piracy and you oh. should buy... <laughs> <laughs> But it doesn't make a difference to us because we're going to then go to Windows exactly, 10 anyway. Exactly, so it doesn't okay. matter. So it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so just, <laughs> you're going to ask me later. Okay. Install important. No, because then it'll, you know, get them off the internet. Ask me later? Yeah, so your computer will be vulnerable to security threats, such as the um, WannaCry virus. Yeah, but for how long? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Until I upgrade to Windows 7? 10. 10, I mean. Un Until I upgrade to Windows 10. Okay, let's go. See okay. how this is very similar to what you did before. It's a work net okay. work, okay. I know I said home before, but I just wasn't thinking <laughs> you changed straight. Your mind. <laughs> well, do you know what? There's always another update. You oh, make no. a mistake, you just update Windows again and get it right. <sighs> Do you like the Windows 7, that, like, um, what do you call it, that flowery thing it has at the side or not? It's very peaceful. It's like a little peace stuff there, too. Okay, you are now on Windows 7. You must now log off. <laughs> hey, at least you got the aero thing. Remember Vista had it had that Vista basic look? Yeah. And it didn't let you have that glassy aero thing? Now you've got the glassy, transparent things. Okay, you can get in now. Oh my gosh, that's still that Windows XP picture you had. Remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah I, I remember. So it kept your same initial picture from Windows XP. I don't even think you're going to have that in Windows 7, that picture. Okay, there you go and see how it's kept things the same, like that sidebar where you put everything yeah, yeah, that you wanted did. there and that's stuff good. like that. That's good. So, oh, but I didn't have that in the sidebar. I put it there. Well... Oh, yeah. what's this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just suddenly popped up on the side with all this music. Oh, that's actually really funny. What? I don't know. Can you just close that one? That's weird. Press the little X on it. I there didn't put it there. Okay. How did you get there? I don't know. Maybe <laughs> it knows it's me and it just put me there. But why would I want to watch myself? Anyway, um, you can close AVG. It's just going nuts because it's so confused. First you have XP, then you've got Vista, then you've got this and just postpone the restart. It's just, it's confused right now. Okay. Okay. So your boss has said... Oh, wow, this is looking really nice, Diana, but that ink ball you showed me before, I hope that's still there, because oh. all, the, all the workers, they want to stay up till 2am every night playing that ink ball, so oh, I hope it's still there. Ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Craziest Programs. offer ever. Craziest office ever, not offer. Games. Um, 
Where's the ink ball? Oh, <gasps> Diana. You've, it's gone. You've rid of, you got rid of the Monopoly. You got rid of my Simurth. You got rid of my ink ball. I need my ink ball. But why did it do that? Because Windows 7 doesn't <laughs> have to. So, can you just, to make me feel a little bit better, this is the weirdest boss ever. This boss bounce doesn't, shouldn't be a boss. I wouldn't be working for this boss. Can you just show me that it's at least got something like a, a, a Manjong tile game? I don't know how you say it. Manjong Titans, not tile game. Yeah, but game. it's a tile game. They just call it Titan. Anyway, just click it and show that this actually works. Okay, so have a little play of one of these and see how you go. What one looks most interesting to you? Turtle, cat. Dragon. Dragon. Interesting. Okay. So what you've got to do here is you've got to try and match Click up two identical two tiles. identical ones to get them, and if you can get rid of all of them, you win. There you go. And those were under those tiles. You see? Oh, they were under. Okay. So the boss is very happy with this game. Um, he just wants to see how far you can get, though. I want to see how far <laughs> I can get too. That's a different layer. Wait a sec. Got to really think here. Um. They're different layers as well. Yeah, because if it doesn't light up. What about the other six? I see another. These two? Six, six. Good. Okay. The tree thing. There's no other tree. Just, while you're here... What, That's a different layer yeah. to that. What's been your favourite game so far? On the... Out of the ones you've... The original pinball one? Ink ball? Or this? So far? What's been the... I don't know. I, I like them all. It's, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't want to be stuck with one game. You know? So... Um... Three, yes. You're getting close. I think those ones now are only like one or two tiles tall, those over there. Oh, those are one tile tall. So you're literally so close to getting down yeah. to the ground. Oh, was that good? Yeah, that's okay. It's just the type. It was Didn't a drag. sound good. It was a dragon, so it went rah, <laughs> like that. No, different layers. Oh, that's no. A, that's a two-layer thing, and that was a one-layer. Oh, that's not fair. I see two sevens that might, you know, be able to do something. Um, uh, you can't select that oh, until not? because it's got two tiles at the same oh, level next to it. Me. So you've got to get rid of them so that you can get it. Otherwise, okay. you can't, you know, pick it up. Well, I got rid of them now. This is a very ancient game. This, by the way, it's uh, like yeah. not this version of it, but it's ancient as in it's, Fuck. you know. Actually, try them too. I don't think they have to be at the same level. Yeah, they both just have to be reachable, like with... Oh, so none of this same level business, yeah. and I was doing all the same levels. They just have to, you know, be accessible, like, it's hard to explain. Well, that's not accessible. No, there's those two big things there. But I think you get the picture of this game. I do. You kind of, you, you actually managed to get rid of that, remember? Yeah. Because that was part of the dragon, and, you know... But anyway, it's this kind of game does go on for a while, so yeah. you can finish up now. Like you no, I, won't, got... I will finish up right now. Just leave, leave me to finish up. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> as in you can finish up, as in you don't have to keep playing. No, this. no, sh I'm trying to concentrate. <sighs> oh, that's scary when that happens. Um, traditionally, these um, these are oh, actually Chinese in nature. These me. tile things, and they were actually made up of bone, often backed with bamboo. Oh, that's <laughs> awful! Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Not anymore. Modern ones are made with plastic, but um, they say in China they still do sell some of these that are made of bones. There's things that are just, for some reason, not accessible. Yeah, they're if they've got two it. tiles next to them, that's why. Like, they're to hire them all at the same level. Seven. So they have to kind of be kind of on top. Anyway. Three. I still... Oh, I, I'm surprised. You got that. So you, you've broken another piece. Well, oh, look at that. that. You're really... You, you're making holes in this dragon. I know, it's becoming good. a bit of a holy dragon. What has made you addicted to this game as opposed to... The, like, for example, Ink Ball. You tried two levels in like, okay, yep, that's it. This, I'm literally I telling finish you to it. stop. This is to finish. Well, whereas the level is how different. How many tiles are remaining? 80? And how many matches you can do right now on the oh, screen? Oh, 12. 12. 12 matches that are possible on oh, the screen I right didn't now. even know that was... Yeah, so that tells you that there's 80 tiles left. And every time you do, you know, two okay, tiles... Okay, stop talking so I can concentrate now. Um, I can't see those matches that they're saying. There's a three. Is there another four? Is there a four? Now there's 11 matches left and 78 tiles. The best things to try and get rid of are, the, like, the tall things on tall towers to reveal what's under them kind of thing. Yeah, I know, I know. But I'm trying. 
there isn't a seven. Maybe you can match plants with plants. What do you mean? That? Like plant with that plant. Really? Yeah, you can. Oh. You can match plants with plants. So that and that can go there, even oh, though they're yeah. not the same okay. plants. Really? Plants are just plants. You oh. lose the game if you run out of matches and you're unable to remove all the tiles. That's how oh, you I lose. See. There's no time limit or anything. Um, six. I think you need to get rid of the six, so you just get rid of like Yeah, yeah, like where's that. the six? <laughs> oh, there's a six, but you need to get rid of a two first. And so if can you can find the two. two. Oh, wait, the two threes. Oh, yeah, you can get rid of them. Where? The, the three, three and the three. No, that three. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Four. Yeah. Six. Didn't we see a six before? Yeah, there. There and there. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Oh, that's so low. Now it looks like you're about to get rid of another little layer. Oh, I wish I could get, get rid of that. Three, but I you can't. can't. You need to get rid of that seven first. Two? There's ten available matches, which is good. There was only like seven before. Now oh, there's ten. So I you've unlocked more. for more, Isn't so that's that good. interesting? I thought it was going to get less, and now it's instead it's getting more. Um, well, if you remove tiles that are on top of ones you need, then that that's good, and you get okay, more. Okay, is there a six? Yeah, can't but you need it. that two to move. But that two's there. Oh, wait. Yeah. That one and that one. And then that one and that Oh, wait. One. The four. That's exactly what we wanted to get rid of that four, remember? Yeah. And now the birdie. Oh, no. There's only five available matches now. Oh, no. It gets creepy, you know, when you get to this stage. Is there a six somewhere? There. But you can't until you get the two. But you can't get the two because the two's there. So it's really the bird. All Where's the bird? hinging on that bird right now. If you can find the bird. Is there a seven? No. But where are the matches that they're talking about? Well, there's currently five matches. It's up there, the two, but you can't access Is there it. a nine? The nine's there. Yes, and you I can, can do that. Then I can access the Still two. five available matches. Nine matches now. Good, nine. No. So what you did, may there be no... Oh, look at the forts. Oh, yeah. Oh, five matches now. There's still three available matches. You've only got 42 tiles left. Two matches now. One match left. Oh, oh no. no. But what if the match reveals a bad thing? The <laughs> match reveals a bad thing. That there's no more matches. <laughs> oh, wait. One more match left still. <laughs> One more match left still. Oh. And I see what match it is too. One more match left. I don't see it. Oh, you're the eights. Do that. And then actually that and that and then the two. Yes, one more match left still. <laughs> Thirty is, tiles. This is quite nerve. Every time you do it you're like, oh come on. Two matches, yes. Oh good. That's no, better. that's a bit safer. One match left. That's as soon not as safe. you get to the two. <sighs> two matches left. I see the nines. Still two matches left. Oh thank goodness. Oh, you've only got 18 tiles left. That's pretty good. Oh my gosh, I think you're going to do this, actually. That's good. Oh, wait, the dragon. You can get rid of the dragon. Yes, two matches. Three matches left. You've done this. I think you beat this. That's good. Not many people can beat this on the... Okay, two matches left. Three matches left. You've done this. You've got this in the back. <laughs> Yay! You completed <laughs> Match on tiles. That was good. <laughs> okay, fantastic. So you get all the fireworks. Well, there you go. At least I can... might play this at midnight. Yeah, but with the <laughs> just joking. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have this because it's you're about to get rid of it. When you get to Windows 8, this is gone. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> that's a shame. But your boss is very happy that you've got this. He's very excited. Yeah, but it's gonna go. You but don't tell him that. <laughs> Well, I'm upset. <laughs> anyway, um, there you go. You got all your fireworks. And look at all the layouts. There's even turtle, and that's hard because see, they're, they're yeah, all stacked on top of each other. Oh, no. um, and there's cabins up. Anyway, that's that for now. It is time to upgrade to Windows 8. Windows 8? You got about Windows 8. How, how could I possibly forget about Windows 8? That's how we all started here. <laughs> as soon as you get to Windows 8, you lose the transparency. You know that transparency mm. between the windows? I liked that transparency, do you? Mm, I do. And also the um, this goes to you lose your gadgets with your little ticking clock going along. <laughs> anyway, um, but you can get your gadgets back actually. There's, you can get gadgets okay. for Windows so 8 and Windows 10. this? Yeah, run set up. Do you know the reason they got rid of the gadgets? Why? They're a security risk. Oh, okay. Because third party gadgets can do stuff so like that. So do you want to allow? Yes. Yeah. Windows 8, you can already see that blank, that flat look. Windows 8 got rid of all the fancy stuff and just made everything look flat. Mm. <laughs> That's, see, how, see how it's not all like stylish like the Windows 7, the, you know, the flowery So is it look? download and install? No thanks. That's right, because we're yeah. going straight to... But see how it's all completely... Um, Next? I'll find one for you. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, people put them on um, Google. 
Windows 8 for me. But how come, how come with the last one you could skip it, whereas this one you can't skip it? Well, so they, the they last got one smart. gives you a 30 they day prob- trial. They probably realised, you know what, we won't let people do that anymore. Okay, anyway, you just Google it and you can find a key here. Now, just so you know, only Google and use these keys if you're just doing a quick little test or something in a virtual machine. Don't use one of these little Googled keys as your, you know, main... You, if you're going to use it as your main operating system, you buy Windows 8, you buy Windows 10. Most computers come with it anyway, but if you build your own computer, you buy it. <laughs> or you just get Linux In other 10. words, don't do what we're about to do now. But that product key that you've found through Google, isn't somebody else using? Mm -hmm. No, generally what they do is when when enough people are using the same product key, they cancel that product key and say, okay, that's But I thought product keys were supposed to be unique. No, 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 no. Multiple people can use the same product key, but Microsoft block them if too many people start using them and they think, ah, that person's gone. So on the Google results, people keep updating it with new product keys. Um... I just don't understand. To keep it secure, why don't they just have it, you know, one product key per operating system thing, you know, per person's operating system. And once that product key is used, well, obviously the person has that operating system on their computer. And no. because obviously if somebody else has the same product key and install it, you know, the same operating system on their computer, then obviously that sets alarm bells, doesn't it? Well, yeah, but what if they've they've just wiped their computer. The product key didn't work. <laughs> Probably too many people are using it. <laughs> um, I may have even have typed it wrong. I love the way it says, try again or use a different product key. So it's even oh, no, suggesting... I actually... I, yeah. You may as well just say, go on Google again and find a different one. <laughs> exactly. Um, no, I actually typed it wrong. That's why it failed. So um, this might work this time. Checking this key. It, pro- it works! Your, your product key works! Oh, yes! Works. It has, yes! We that's haven't like, won this one yet. That's like we winning the lotto. lotto! Yes! It works. Your lotto ticket has been Congratulations, you selected the correct one on Google. That, <laughs> that not next. too many are using at the moment. <laughs> okay. It should say that as far, okay. you know. So, um, you have to... So that they know they're onto us type thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so go and accept that. You know, you may not use the software if you've it. not oh, yeah. acquired a license for the, for the software on EC. So just accept and keep the files. Oh, I love that. Nothing. Nothing. Choose what to keep personal Nothing. Files. What if you want everything? See, nothing or only your personal files. But what about but the non-personal files? Yeah, I know. What if you want to keep those <laughs> non-personal files? <laughs> Why do they have to just be the personal ones? Anyway, so it's now making sure you're ready to install. I'm ready. No, but not you, as in your computer. So really it should say, making sure your computer is ready to install yeah. the update. Not you. Because if you weren't ready, you wouldn't have clicked next. Exactly. So <laughs> it's, got, it's got that a little bit wrong. You won't be able to use your PC while Windows installs. Save and close your files before you begin. To recap, here's what you've chosen to do. Install Windows 8.1 Pro and keep personal files only. Now, there you how go. Long now, did notice... Start? Do you just notice, though, for a second, how flat this looks? Yeah. Did you notice the other installers all pretty pictures and I stuff? I know. Windows 8, it was all about flat I and know. basic. That was the style. What do you think you like better? I like the previous style better. I know. The fancier. They went back. Anyway, it just says, installing Windows 8, your PC will restart several times. This might take a while. Okay. 12, Off I go. Goodbye. 13%, 14%, 15%, 16%. See ya. Uh, this actually was really, really quick. The whole process here only took about, I think, 12 minutes. And then, yeah, it's loading files and we were ready. So now you have to choose your keyboard layout. Are you a mean typewriter or are you a US? I'm a mean typewriter. A meanian typewriter. Oh, I thought you said a mean <laughs> typewriter. I thought, well, I can be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, okay. um, uh, you know, there's a lot of options here, and there's even more keyboard layouts, but what, what keyboard layout are we? Where I want to see more keyboard layouts. <laughs> <laughs> are you oh, a basher? Wow, look at that. I'd see an I alphabetical said, order. I think it said an abasha, an English Indian. Are you an English Indian or a Danish? It's best just to choose US, otherwise you will type stuff in the okay. keyboard. Okay, well, how do I get back thing. to it? Well, you just have to say, see more. Oh, and go through... Through the big list. Wow! That'd be interesting to be one of these other ones, though. Oh, US. There we go, US. Okay, so choose an option. Do you want to troubleshoot or turn off your PC? I want to turn it off because I need to get on with the things <laughs> I need to get on with now. But turn off. No, but what does that mean? Does that mean we can't go well, on with this I'm video? I'm pretty sure we're now... Like, that's how you continue. It's got to, like, turn off to reboot oh, or something. Oh, right. Okay, now we're going to turn it on. 
So it should be Windows 8. Yeah, but that's the Windows 7. Wait, if you see some balls kind of go in a circle and then make a flash flag, that's Windows 7 and we don't want that. So just look at that and hope that that word that says starting Windows, hope that some balls don't appear above that word. Big rainbow colourful balls that kind of do little things with each other and then explode in and make the Windows logo. Mm -hmm. It still says just starting Windows. Oh no! The balls! <laughs> the balls! What's happened? It doesn't want to upgrade to Windows 8. It doesn't like Windows 8. Well, it's gonna... Like I didn't like it from the beginning. <laughs> well, it's going to have to go into Windows 8. Maybe the computer remembers that I didn't like it originally. <laughs> so it's trying to save me that trauma again. Now let's see what it, maybe when it turns but it'll continue the Windows 8 thing. Because it did say it would have to reboot multiple times. No, that's Windows 7. What's it doing? It's being naughty now. It was Windows 80 before, now it's back to Windows 7. I mean, not Windows 80, but it was like Windows 80-ish. Mm. Imagine if in the future they get up to Windows 80. They couldn't install we it. We couldn't install Windows 8.1. We've set your PC back to the way it was right before you started installing Windows 8.1. Well, that's not very good. Why couldn't it install it? Well, you know what? We're just, we're just going to cheat. We're just gonna, I've got Windows 8.1, okay? But why couldn't it install it? It's just... It knows you hate it, okay? So we're just gonna... <laughs> we're gonna cheat. I'll just grab a different Windows 8.1. Well, I can play that Mahjong thing again. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's the Windows... But you destroyed it. Remember, you destroyed the Windows 8.1. I think it was too scared. Probably, because I destroyed it. That's um, why. okay. Uh, now I'm a little bit stuck. We're going to repair that Windows 8.1 then. Let's... I'm going to stick the repair disc in and we'll try and repair what you destroyed that last... This is getting interesting now. This is... So it remembered that I destroyed it? No. Really? No, it's... I, I just basically kept, turned off the Windows 8.1 computer you destroyed and just left it there. So it's still sitting there destroyed from when you destroyed... Remember you had to destroy yeah, yeah, Windows yeah, yeah, 8 yeah. that time? Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to stick in the disc, the Windows 8 disc, and yeah, hopefully all's going to be good. Okay, so let's see what happens when we try and boot this up. Here we go. Uh, uh, well, let's... Um, I destroyed it pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Can't repair it. Yeah, that was, that was a different episode if you want to go look at that. Let's... Maybe, I don't know, well, maybe we can try and boot from the CD. Maybe we'll try and do that if I, I tell the computer boot from CD. So let me restart this mm -hmm. and then we'll try and boot it from the Windows 8.1 CD and then try and repair your um, resume. Now we've got to see what key to press. So I think it'll, it'll say to press F2. Boot menu, come on. Here we go. What's it going to do? The boot menu, great. I don't know why it's loading that boot menu so slow. Okay, boot... Why is this? This is the slowest boot menu I've ever seen. So we're going to make it so that the CD drives are up higher. Oh, okay, it doesn't like that. Well, I'll instead go to the hard drive and make that down lower. Okay, like that. Okay, let's exit. So now, why is that so slow? Can you... Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. It's like drawing it on the screen like that. Okay. It's going to try now again, and now hopefully it boots from the CD and it tries to repair Windows 8. Yes. So here we go. It's now booting from the CD, and we're going to try and repair it. So instead of updating from Windows 7 to 8, it just couldn't do it. I hate how they just said, oh, we couldn't do it. Like, do you think that's so silly? Yeah, it is. We couldn't do it. You just have to, you know... I didn't think... Do you know what's actually funny? In that episode, as a joke, I said, okay, now that you've destroyed it, repair it. Yeah. And, and you're like, no, it was a joke. And now you actually are literally doing exactly that now. So here we go. Um, I guess you can go. Click next. Repair your computer. Here we go. So we're going to repair what you destroyed. Um, I'd say that refresh. troubleshoot. Yeah. Refresh. If your PC isn't running well, you can refresh it. Didn't we want to keep files? But it's not going to be kept anyway. You said those files aren't going to be kept. Just do refresh your PC. Hopefully that'll be faster. And Windows 8.1. This option is not supported on the operating system you've selected. Well, you're bad then. <laughs> Let's reset the PC on Windows 8.1. There we go, resetting the PC. This will work. Okay, so hopefully this repairs the damage mm -hmm. from um, what you did last time. You can now, while it repairs the damage, you can go. Go away. Un oh my gosh! What? 
unable to reset your PC. Why? A required drive partition is missing. Okay, so here we are, Windows 8.1 Pro. You, you've just gotten, your boss just got a bit upset. So um, he basically just- I wish he'd just do it himself. <laughs> <laughs> what happened is, because that computer, for some reason, it must be an old computer that can't update to Windows 8 <laughs> or something like that. So he basically picked up the old computer, threw it at the competitor's office. He knocked over the other employees in the other office, so they've got to rehire now. He missed the boss, though, so the boss is going to rehire. He couldn't completely wipe out the competition, but now he's gone and bought a new computer. And now you're going to install Windows 8.1 Pro on it and update to Windows 10. Oh, gee, why didn't, if you bought a new computer, it should have come with Windows 10. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why did it come with he, Windows 8? He, what happened, well, it doesn't come with any operating system. He kind of, um, but he bought it. Who buys a computer that doesn't come with any operating system? That's terrible. <laughs> he bought it off, I wouldn't buy it from them again. He bought it off eBay for a hundred bucks, okay? <laughs> there you go. He that bought wouldn't it off surprise eBay. me, actually. Okay, okay. now you're going to... So you've got, what option do you want? You've got Windows 8.1 Pro or Windows 8.1 Pro or there's only one option. Well, there's there. only one option. Yep, so, so next, okay. you just got to wait for it. It's doing it. Okay, there you go. Now you just got to go and you can wait. <laughs> Uh, this, as you know, was a fresh install of Windows 8. It really, really didn't take long at all. This is actually, I was pretty yeah, impressed with the whole situation. I think, um, all in all, it was about 10 minutes to install Windows 8 from scratch. So a lot better than the upgrades before. So you finally installed Windows 8. Okay. What game does it have on it for your boss? Your boss is saying, please tell me it's got Manjong tiles. Oh, I have to admit, I hate these tiles. <laughs> you wish Actually, you had the other tiles. I hate these, these tiles. tiles. I hate uh. it. Um, oh, where's the games now? I like having a menu you can go to things, not this silly thing. Where are the games now? That I'm assuming that's games. These are ones to download. You need one that's already on the computer. Oh. I'll give you a clue. There's a little arrow there at the bottom. And these show you all the apps on your computer. Okay. Games. No, oh, but no, that's, that's what you just went thing. into. So basically, Windows 8 didn't come with any games. So all of the other ones. So your boss is now it's very... not fun. Your boss is very upset and said, please, don't, you just got to put a game on here for me. Go to the games and just oh, put something on. So I have to actually... You actually do have to go and get one for her. Okay. So he's looking, he wants a game like Solitaire or Minesweeper. But what so if I don't want that? No, that's what he... It's your boss. The employee doesn't choose what they want. It's not the employee. Well, it's the employees that stay up and play these at 2am in the office. No, with the boss. And the boss pays overtime for that. So. That actually sounds pretty good. I didn't know about the overtime. Uh, anyway. <laughs> okay, so where is it? So maybe try and search for it. So type in like something like solitaire or something like that. But I don't want to play solitaire. Yeah, but that's what the boss wants. He's what what was the other choice? Minesweeper. No, solitaire. What is Minesweeper? The, and, and you can't click one with the bomb until you, and there's one. Oh, one. actually Minesweeper. Sweeter. <laughs> My, Minesweeper. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's one word though. No results. I thought so. It's one word. It should just give similar. There you go, Microsoft Minesweeper. Got it. You can get that. So it's free, um, you can just click play. Oh, actually, no, that's... Yeah, yeah, so it'll it'll get it. It'll get it from the store, but it's free. Okay, so how do you download or install this? It's completely free. How do you do it? Um, is there something... You were close. Can I just say you were close the first time when you first... Install. Yeah, there you go. Install. Okay, here we go. Select an account, just click Diana. Oh, just click next, I mean... Okay, your free app is installing. Ask you won't be later. charged for free apps. Okay, now, I don't remember how to play. Um, no, that's, it's installing. This is still the store oh, page. Oh, I thought this was just... No, so it just says at the top right corner, it says installing Microsoft Minesweeper. Um, if you click that, it might actually show you the progress, how long it's got left till it's finished installing. So you can click on it. No, installing Minesweeper, that's a picture. <laughs> In Installing, like, click that. There you go. So it's downloading, it's almost done. We weren't able to connect to the store. Oh no, wait, it's doing it. You did it. Okay, so now you should be able to find Minesweeper down in the list of programs. It's just still almost finished, 74% new app installed. So just go to the bottom there and here we go. Minesweeper. I was just thinking, oh and no. And it says new. Yep. Okay, Microsoft Minesweeper. I was getting so worried there. I was thinking, oh no. Anyway, here it is. That's kind of when Windows 8 has an app, it just shows you full screen this thing and yeah, there we go. Okay, so 
what do you want, easy, medium, or expert? Just click back on that. This one. I just click yes, actually. Okay, so easy, medium, or expert? Expert. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Why? I just feel like it. <laughs> okay. I was such an expert at that Mejon thing that... Mejon? <laughs> what, what was it? I don't know how you say it. Mejon tile. Someone will probably Ooh. say how you say it. Okay, there are mines hidden under some of these squares. This is how you detonate them without touching them. Um... So just click next. So, your first tap is always safe, so click. But if this is supposed to be for an expert, why are they giving no, the instruction? It's, it's an expert would already no, know. it's just because you're a beginner, it's showing you the first time you've used this, it's just showing you how to do it. Oh, wait a second. So, I'm you just click. Click there. Yep. And it's showing you that there's a mine somewhere. Yeah. yeah. So, right click it. This one? Yep. Oh wait, click next. Great job. So now you can actually do it. Next. I used to play this a long time ago, but... Okay, here you go. You are ready. But why does it say Don't hint? click hint. So yeah, but why does it? If you need a hint. There you go. So I just pressed one thing and, and it showed a whole stack all of this. So you know that... Well, when you Look. think about it here at the bottom, think of this. Just think of this for a mm -hmm. moment. This says there's one bomb near it and that means there's a bomb in one of these tiles. It's not there, it's not there, it's not there, it's not there. What's that piece going to be? Yeah. But it could be there. No, it's not because these are all used. Oh, they're used. They're used. They're what all gone. Mean? Only the blue ones. Why are they used? Because you clicked it and they just no bombs were in that area. Oh, that was pretty expert, wasn't so it? So that means it's just the blue. <laughs> it's just the blue. Okay, well, there must. That's that's a bomb. Okay, so where else do you think there's a bomb? Um, See if you can go through this whole thing. Well, there's only one bomb there, so I would say they're all okay. Okay, you can click them then. And I'd say. Yeah, good. So you've only got those five blocks left up there. Okay, well, there's one. And, look, and it's, it's none, none of them. So, so what is it? Obviously that. Yeah. <laughs> and if there's only one, that means that's it, it, all yeah, okay. exactly. And if there's one, there's a, there must be one here. But no, it's not that one because that one's already I'd say there. it's this at the bottom because... Think yeah, of I it. know. I know. So I you know. can click that, and that top one and you should be safe. There you go. <laughs> so now it's these bottom ones. So there's five of them. I've, I've found three. I know where the other two are already. Um, Why do you say there's five bombs? Because it said there's five bombs. Didn't it? Did it? Oh. Oh, see, it's right there where, all, where the camera is. So this <laughs> like in the shape of the camera. Okay. Well, look, it has to be there. Yeah. It has to be. But what about this? It says there's two bombs and... Yeah, I so know. So that means those are two bombs too. Oh, so there's more than five. And I'd say that's it. I'd say that's it because so, they're the two, so, so that's you can okay. Click safely or oh, there's three. Oh, but that's one, one two, two, three. three. That's yeah. it, so you're safe. So then that's okay. Yeah. Um, wait a sec. That's okay. That should be okay because you've already done okay. three, so those two in there should be So fine. there's two, which are yep. those two, so that means that's okay. You did it. I am an expert. There you go. See? I am actually an expert. Okay, there you go. So easy boss... would have been ridiculously easy. Yeah. So your boss said, wow, that, that was pretty good, Dinah. I can thought so too. Can you now install too. Um, Windows 10? Well, if I can do that, I can do anything. What? Oh, this was expert. That was just before the first time you do no. it. It just shows you how to do easy. And then no. it just works. And yeah, so that was the beginner, what you just did. Oh, no. Yeah. So, sorry, you're not an expert. Okay, you won't be able to do this. Let's, oh. let's do, like, do one click and you can see that's really, there's too many of them. It's too complicated. It's not. It is. So two, no, no, meaning can't. these two are We're bombs. actually, I'm running out of time on the camera. I'm running oh. out of time on the camera. So that'll, that'll have to and be that. That one's that. safe. That'll be it. Okay. You had your fun with that one. I bet you I could be an expert at that one. Okay, too. so now what we're going to do is basically you are going to now try and update to Windows 10. Why is my picture there? Because basically it syncs your Microsoft account. Oh. So because you've done that on that computer, if you go to a new computer, it's like you've got okay. a new computer right now with Windows 8. It's right. gone like, oh, you've got that desktop background in your Microsoft account. So, But I don't want that at work. In fact, is that your current desktop picture? Yeah, it is. Do you have Seagulls? No, no Seagulls okay, is yeah. for the um, this is your current Google. One. Okay. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> That's actually a photo of our backyard. <laughs> I know, well, in, in, in Tasmania. Yeah, our uh, Tasmanian well, front, backyard. Well, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, what we're going to do is um, you're going to try and I'm going to give you the Windows 10 disk. Your boss just stole it fresh from the um, other boss in the other office. <laughs> situation with this boss is awful, isn't it? Mm. Okay, so can you now get into the um, the disc that's just been inserted? 
So you want to try and find like a file manager or something like that where you manage all your files. <laughs> you hate that. I do. Well, they're apps, so it's not going to be there. I'll give you a clue. Here's a clue. Just imagine you didn't click on that. Is there a way to do it from here? Internet a file ex- manager? Yeah. Wouldn't it be there? Yeah. See, as long as you don't have to touch the taskbar. Okay, so you've got a floppy disk drive, your local disk C, or the Windows 10 installation disk. What do you choose? All the Windows 10 <laughs> I installation mean, all the disk, disk. All the disk that is in the drive right I now. I think I'll choose the floppy <laughs> disk because I, I'm so silly. Because your would boss know is a bit of a no. floppy, you know. No, one. no, no. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Your boss has finally found a way to get Windows 10 mm-hmm. and you're going to now install it. Mm-hmm. So it is now preparing and this is your final one. Your boss really wanted to be here to watch this. He's really excited, but apparently he's just got a phone call from 000, so it might take a little while. He got a phone call from, from 000, 000, 000, yes. So really? anyway, um, you don't want to download Well, they're, like they're probably calling him to ask him questions <laughs> about why he threw the computer in the <laughs> other all the, office and, and killed, killed all, all the other employees, employees, but not the boss. <laughs> yes. <laughs> If he just killed the boss, he wouldn't have had any problems. There would be no evidence. Anyway, not right now. Okay, so it basically says we're getting a few things ready. Do you notice how it's it's quite um it's almost like dumbed down now. In the olden days, like when you were installing Vista and stuff, it wasn't like we're getting a few things ready. It was like this is like barely an information. A blue screen. We're getting a few things ready in big writing. Mm. Do you notice that's so simplified mm. back from the you know olden days when it actually told you what it was doing? Hmm. Product key and stuff is done. W- what are you? Are you a a US miner outline island? Are you a US Virgin Island? Are you a Ukraine? I'm what not are a you? US at all. <laughs> I'm an Australian. Okay, so you can put it where you like. Okay, is this the right keyboard layout? US? Yes. Do you want to add a second keyboard layout? No. Skip. <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> well, maybe if you're uh, If a multi- I spoke two different Multilingual, languages, yeah. yeah. That's what you call it, right? Multilingual? I think so. Yeah, okay. So let's connect you to a network. How about you just skip that for now? Your boss doesn't really need to connect you to a network. <laughs> He, they just they they actually don't use networks in that office. Mm-hmm. Um, so who's going to be using who's going to use this PC? What name do you want to use? Or boss? <laughs> Are you gonna write something else starting with B? Because you're so sick of your boss. Anyway, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> and as a joke, create a super memorable password. Basically, what ended up happening is um your boss got a little bit impatient, and instead of you know, updating before. What? What's it doing? Add a hint for your password. Oh. So if you forget your password, give a little clue as to what the password is. Boss password. That's actually what it is. <laughs> <laughs> your password hint oh. can't contain your password. <laughs> I love that. Your password hint can't contain the password. No, but it can't contain it. Okay, well, I'll get rid of. I know what I'll do. Password is no, the no. password. Os password. Os yeah. password. <laughs> I didn't, <laughs> I didn't mean that. I just took OS the first. Password. I just took the bo okay. out of. Yeah, you took the bo, the body out of the password. <laughs> okay, you I, took this the, wasn't meant you, to be yeah. funny. <laughs> you took the bo out of the ass. Okay, <laughs> it's one bit of a you know. Um, do you want to make Cortana your personal assistant? There's Cortana there. Mm. Okay. What privacy settings? By the way, the boss said while you're about to update to Windows 10 via the other thing, he said it was taking too long. So he, while you went to the toilet, he quickly threw. Well, that if he did what I said from the start and just go to Windows 10 from the yeah. very beginning, he quickly attached a bomb to it and threw that computer out the window with the bomb, and it blew up half the city. Except his building was safe for some reason, and yet now you're installing Windows 10 on a new computer. So here you go. This is still going. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So you happy with all those? The storyline about this boss is just absolutely <laughs> a, 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 should be a different video altogether. <laughs> just accept. What? Okay, next. Keep going, yep. Just accept. So it's gonna everything. have speech recognition, relevant ads, all that kind Whatever. of stuff. Whatever. Just a moment. Hi, we're getting everything ready for you. You've been getting everything ready for a long time. <laughs> Aren't you ready yet? <sighs> This might take several minutes. Don't turn off your PC. So you can come back in several minutes and that'll be the final time. And two minutes later, we were ready to go. 
Okay, there you go. Now, what the first thing your boss said, that diner, I don't think I can actually use this computer just because it didn't seem to have a start menu before with Windows 8. Can you make sure it's got a start menu now with Windows 10? Your boss is really happy. He wants to see what game this actually has that you can play on it. However, he just got a phone call. The cops said they're on their way to arrest him. Please stay there and don't do anything. So the, you, you've just lost your job. You've been fired because he got arrested. So there you go. You have successfully gotten, well, not technically, because there was a few speed bumps along the way mm. um, that didn't quite get you up, you know. And Wasn't I supposed to play a game in this one? Well, your boss got arrested, so you've been fired. Oh, okay. I may as well sell this computer on eBay. <laughs> yeah, but this... <laughs> Make a bit of money for all this time. <laughs> this computer has been taken away by the police. Oh, really? you know, evidence of the people that have been murdered. Um, however... How's that evidence? When however, the boss, the boss has said, you know what, Diana, this is, you know, my last few moments of life before... They said I'm going to have Is he going to be executed? Life in prison, La basically. Last few moments of life. The, yeah, before he, he's going to have life in prison, he says, can we just together, let's play a game. What what one do you want? Do you want th this comes with Windows? Well, 10, for by the him, way. he probably want the most, the longest one. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so which one? Pyramid, Free Cell. These are all card games. Oh, um, card which games. ones? Um, oh, well, what I about Pyramid? Really... Pyramid. Just go with Pyramid. Okay. <laughs> there you go. So basically, what you've got to do here is you starting at the bottom of the pyramid, you've mm. got to try and clear all of this and get to the top card. You've got to try and get rid of them. Now what you do to get rid of the cards is you've got to look at their values. 8 plus 5, does that add up to 13? Yes. Okay, fantastic. It adds up to 13. You can click on them. So you've got to constantly and those cards add, add, to add them to 13. 13. And you can do this, but only cards that are at the front. If it has a card on top of it, it can't. So there you go. Going good so far. Your boss is just saying, thanks, Dinah. These are some great final moments yep. for me playing this <laughs> And I've never seen this before. Okay. And I just wish I had What do time. I do with this? <laughs> well, a queen is worth 12, yeah. And it added with You can add that if you want. I will. You can. That's your special card, so you can use so that. So put it so onto that. Just, just click click the two cards. Click and click. There you go. So you're up to this row. Will you make it all the way to the end? Jack is worth 11. Yeah. If you can't, you can use some of these cards. Right. You can click on those to like flip through. You've got a little deck of cards down there. 8 plus 2 is not... No, I was going to add up all eight, you two, can only do two, two at and once. one. Oh, really? Yeah, only two at once. Oh, you're kidding me. Exactly. So you can you draw draw this if you like. See where it says the word draw at the bottom? You can do yeah. that to see if there's any cards that you might be able to use with these. Okay, um, eight, no. But once you've gone through, you can only draw two times a deck. So once you get through the whole deck, you can only, you know, do it two more times. So none of these are useful. No. Keep going. It's always the cards you've already got a 10. Uh, no. Nah. A king, well, you can just get rid of that. What's click it on worth? It. A king is worth 13. So you click oh. it and it kills itself. There you go. Keep going. <laughs> Another king. Why are these kings in here? A nine. Yeah. Is um, that valuable? No. No, it is. Nine wow. plus what? Nine plus what equals 13? Nine plus. <laughs> well, where's there a four? There's no four. There is a four. Oh, it's I didn't no know card. you could use that. Yeah, it's got no cards on oh, top Oh, I it. thought you could only use that layer. No, no, you, you, okay. you can I go didn't know. down, just as long as no cards, like that's yeah, yeah, got a card yeah, yeah, on top yeah. of it. Okay, got it. Got okay, it. so the king can kill itself again. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, well, I can't keep use going. three, yeah. The king can use itself, that sounds better, rather than kill itself. Okay, um, we're kind of running out. Oh, wait, Jack, Jack is 11. 12, 13, yeah, so I can use that and that. Oh, and another Jack 11 and there's another 2 there. I know. Do you think you'll be able to get through the pyramid? I don't know. So, s wait a sec, 7. You've only got 8 minutes left before we run out of space. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you got to do this within Time 8 limit. minutes. Wait a sec. Um, oh, got That's 50 easy. points. Yeah. Um, okay, so... And 12 is what she's worth. She's worth 12. And 8 is worth 1. So great. You're getting through the pyramid. No. Um, 3, can I use that? A 3 would go with a 10. Yeah. Ten. Okay, you can draw again. So ten would go with a three. You don't have a three. No. You've only technically got a, a four, a seven, and a jack right now. So you need a two. Seven and seven is fourteen. You no. need a two, a six, or a nine. Two, six, or nine. You have to go th click draw. Now you you can keep going. Two, six, or nine. Two, six, or nine. Two, six, nine. Two, six, nine. Two, six. There's a two. There you go. And then you got a six, six. straight after. Fantastic. What's eight plus five? Yeah, that's boom. <laughs> Oh no, this is an awkward situation because you can only use a queen or a four. Oh no. Okay, so you basically so, need a one. 
or a nine. One or nine. Oh, good a one. Oh, and the ten and the three. Fantastic. Oh, and the nine and the four. How good is this? <laughs> that just works perfectly, didn't it? Yeah. Now you desperately need a nine. So if you cannot find a nine here, you're gonna, you've lost. Go through again. Let's hope there's a nine at the start. Is there a nine? Oh no. You're very, your boss is just, he's, he's so sad right now. You failed and now the police, are, just, but just perfect time. The police have come. He's in jail now. They've just asked you, by the way, Dinah, were you an accomplice? No, no. I was just following his instructions to do, to I didn't Windows kill 10. anybody. I didn't do anything bad. Okay, but were you aware that he had killed people? No, because I was sitting at this computer the whole time. I just simply knew that he threw the computer, but I didn't know where it landed. Didn't you hear the explosion outside and hear the fire and the people screaming? But I didn't actually see what was happening. It could have been someone watching a movie outside. One of the other employees. <laughs> <laughs> a bit strange. Okay. Well, the police have left. Now you, you, you're you all safe. And they said, but we want the computer as evidence. You can't keep this computer. And you're fired and you can go. Okay. If you give me 50 bucks for the computer, you can have the computer. Okay. You've tried to bribe a police no! officer. No! So now you get taken to jail today <laughs> for trying to bribe the police officer. Diana has resulted herself in jail. And that is the end of OS First Timer. See ya. Bye.